you ever wonder what it's like to slay your own dragons? Do you know what your dragons are? What they look like? What color they are? I mean, I know this is like a super weird question, but when I speak of dragon, I'm referring to my own inner demons, my own inner struggles, the things that I have been having a really hard time letting go, the things that I have been having a difficult time seeing from a different perspective, the things that I have been attached to and stuck to, um, those are my dragons. Or you can call them skeletons in the closet, whatever you want to call them. But I think we all have a whole bunch of unprocessed uh, stuff that if you don't look at it and if you don't process it, it just persists. It just remains. It doesn't change. It doesn't go away. It can't on its own. It really can't. And I've been MIA for a while and that's exactly why I've been MIA. I've been sl slaying my own dragons and shit, it's been tiring. <laughs> it's, it's quite the, the fight. Um, it's really hard to, you know, get your shit together and get yourself on the right road sometimes um, because you are the only one who is responsible and you know it. You know, when you fuck up in life, you are the only person that can really fix that. Sure, people can help you, but ultimately you have to fix it because it's your lesson. It's your fuck up. It's your thing to learn from and understand so that you don't do it again. Right. Um, but sometimes we do things like over and over, even though we know it's not the right thing to do. Um, and we just keep doing it anyway. Uh, and that's hard. It's exhausting and it's cumbersome and it takes courage and effort to kind of pull yourself together and say, today I'm going to make a difference. Today I'm going to make a new choice. Today I'm going to choose love. Today I'm going to choose peace. Today I'm just going to choose me and I'm just going to love me and accept me as I am. Flaws and all, whatever, I don't care. Uh, if this needs to happen, if you're someone who is struggling and stuck inside your head, um, the way I have been, uh, you know, and most of us are for much of our lives, um, I'm going to tell you to get out, <laughs> get out of your head. You're going to find a lot more peace and resolution and love and understanding and compassion when you can turn this chatter into something that it has to come through the heart. We need to feel more and think less. Um, I think one of the biggest issues in society today is that we all do a whole lot of um, thinking and uh, not necessarily a lot of feeling. Yeah, and you know, and that sucks. That just doesn't work. We ultimately need to feel our way through life. That is intuition, that is connection. And when I feel my way through life, I certainly choose better things for myself. I, I just make better choices overall. I have a lot more clarity, um, a lot more direction and guidance in terms of where I'm going. Um, but you, like, I have to choose that and I don't, always choose it and a lot of us don't always choose it as a matter of fact we probably choose it less than we should like a whole lot less but this all comes back to that self-love and the reason why i've had such a struggle you know slaying my own dragons the last oh my god year and a half um it's incredible how much growth there is how much forward movement there is and you know I didn't get it all right for no like I think I gained like 20 pounds through the pandemic um I I, I didn't really go the, the full-on healthy way um 
but I'm learning. I'm learning even, even from that. Like I'm realizing that it's so wrong for me to, I was constantly judging myself, constantly pushing myself and forcing myself into, you have to get thinner and you have to work out and you have to drink those juices that you don't always like drinking and <laughs> you have to, have to, have to. And I was like, fuck, I am exhausted with have to. I don't know about you. I don't know how you feel about have to, but I'm so fucking tired of have to. I don't want anything to have to be a certain way. What if I just was? What if I just flowed? What if I just was myself and didn't give a shit about rejection and didn't give a shit about what people thought of me or any of that, like just wholeheartedly me and, and seeing my dragons and working with it and wanting to slay it and wanting to overcome it. Like, I don't know. I've learned more about self-love and self-nurturing in the last year and a half than through my whole life so far. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And I know a lot of that happened because of the fact that we have all these crazy planetary alignments because of the fact that everything in the universe is, is conspiring for us, not against us. It's for us. It's It wants us to be happy. It wants us to find success. It wants us to to be in peace with one another and to live in communities that are filled with love and joy and support and compassion for each other. Um, I've, I've learned all of these things that this is what the universe truly wants for us and all we have to do is align. It's just align. Align with ourselves first and foremost because I'm finding the more I'm aligning with myself the more I am aligning with God. I can't, I can't put it any other way. I'm just connecting and aligning with God. The more that I see my imperfection, my flaws, and the more that I can love them and accept them, and the more patient I can become with myself instead of frustrated when I'm not doing the shit I know I'm supposed to be doing, the more I'm just able to I'm just letting go. I don't know. I'm like, I'm letting go of all this crap, of all this judgment. I've been so hard on myself. And I don't know about you, but I, I think we're all so hard on ourselves in our heads. And this is why I said, like, right at the beginning of the video, you got to get out of your head because it's the only fucking way. It's the only way that you're going to find peace and solitude within. Because this is not shut up. Let me tell you, it does not stop. It doesn't end. It doesn't want to because it's so ego driven. And my mind just kept telling me and over and over and repeating so much of my past and regurgitating it. And I'm just like, fuck, I'm done. I'm enough, enough. I don't want to keep telling myself that story. I don't want my past to be my present. And, and the only way that I can escape that is by telling myself a new story and getting out of my own head and just seeing my life for what it is, the gift that it is, the beauty that it is, the opportunities and the chances and, and the abundance. It's like, I feel like I've been running and chasing after something that I've had all along, all along. It's fucked up. And it's, it's been, years you know years of me chasing a dream but you know what i'm actually living that dream now but the only reason why i'm able to live that dream now is because i i planted those seeds back in the past and this was something i didn't realize either i didn't realize that like Everything that I'm experiencing right now and today and through this pandemic has been has been something that I, I created and I manifested in the past, like a long while ago, like while I still had my business. I ran a clinic for almost 10 years, burnt out, almost burnt out, like full on like nervous breakdown type of thing, twice almost. Um, and I never saw it. 
And all I wanted at that time, I remember, I remember thinking and feeling it so strongly. Those times, especially those times when I was extremely burnt out, when I was just like, I'm fucking done, I'm done. I can't handle any more people. I can't, I don't want, <laughs> want to deal with any more people. I don't want to manage people. When I was just so tired and I was so exhausted. And, and I remember thinking and I, was, I would daydream. I literally would daydream about freedom of what it would be like and I would just sit on my break and I would just dream and imagine what would it feel like to be free to not have to go to the office every day to not have to do such hard physical work to make a living how can I live like freedom I wanted to experience freedom so badly and I am now living it I am now living the dream I am living the life that I wanted with freedom and it's not perfect it, it doesn't need to be perfect because I know and I have this awareness now that it just comes as long as you choose abundance, as long as you want to be on that path, it just comes. It really can come to you and flow to you through, through your own visualizing it and feeling it within. Same thing with my home. Like I manifested the home that I'm in because I, I wanted it so badly. See, <laughs> I find every situation in my life Every good that I've ever manifested in my life really came from kind of tragedy. It really came from from like such a desperation and, and, and a deep, deep knowing that I deserved more. Um, that's how I got everything I have. It, it came from understanding and, and just feeling within like, I deserve so much fucking more than what I'm actually experiencing right now. It's like, where is that experience then? But you see, I was creating it then in that moment. And, and you know, it's, it really is a process like to change and to grow and to learn and to become a brand new person, not your old story, but a brand new person. It takes time. So be patient with yourself and be very compassionate with yourself and just know that you know what? Yeah, I didn't get it 100% right today, but every day I'm going to keep working on it. I'm going to keep working on it and I'm just going to keep going. And one day I will look back and, and see all of the progress that I've made, not by spazzing and like freaking out and being desperate about it, but quite the opposite, just by flowing, just by moving through life with ease and with love and choosing that love every day, choosing to feel it within and sharing that love and that light with others. This is the key. It's the key to happiness, to ultimate happiness and to finding yourself. You slay the dragons when you decide that those dragons can be now put to rest. You don't need to keep fighting them. So I hope to God that if you're listening to this, then you find your happiness and you find it within yourself, not outside of yourself. I hope that you seek that happiness within yourself, not outside of yourself because you deserve it and you have the capacity and the capability right now to experience it. It's like just open up brand new eyes. Look at everything that surrounds you. Look at everything that you have. And just take a moment to appreciate it. Even if it's not the best, even if it's not the whatever, it doesn't matter. But just appreciate it because that appreciation starts to grow within you and then it helps you to expand. You see, it's like, this is something I discovered. It's like, I expand the more that I appreciate everything that is in my life, the more that I, I'm thankful for the things that are in my life, the more I'm able to 
get more like it just more comes to me because I'm open I've opened that door to allow stuff in instead of blocking so I'm gonna just say this just allow just go with the flow and stop resisting stop resisting let go be brave be brave enough to be yourself and it doesn't matter what people say or whether they reject you or accept you. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. You need to accept you and you need to love you. And when you do that, your whole entire life will change. Everything that you've ever wanted will come to you, will come into your life. As long as your intention and your heart is pure, first of all, towards yourself and then towards everyone else. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope this message was useful to someone. I hope I didn't just jabber on about nothing. <laughs> so that's the other piece. Don't take life too seriously. Anyway, that's my message. So I hope uh, this was helpful and I'm wishing you a really, really beautiful day. I'm wishing you lots of love. I want you to take care of yourself. Love yourself. Go look in the mirror and say, damn, look at that. Go do that. I used to have the opposite and now I don't do that anymore. I don't hate on myself anymore. You just gotta love who you are, what you are, how God made you, uh, flaws and all, all of it. Doesn't matter, just love it all. Take care guys, peace out.